Hello there guys, Ultragamer64 here, and today I've got a brand new toy review for you guys. This is going to be the Dino Megazord from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Now, I bought this uh, Megazord a little while ago, but um, I just now got around to recording it because the new Power Rangers movie's coming out, and I'm getting really, really hyped for it. So I figured what a better time than now to review this Megazord. Um, just a quick note before we start. There are a few pieces missing. Um, I don't have the sword. I don't have the horns that go on the Triceratops right over here. But um, other than that, I think everything is still here. Um, I do not... Some of the stickers are missing as well. So just be, be aware of that. That not all the stickers are there and not all the pieces are there. But without further ado, let's get started. And we're going to take a look at the um, Tyrannosaurus Zord first. Alright guys, and here we have the Tyrannosaurus Zord. He is looking quite menacing and quite cool. Um, this is probably the biggest Zord in the actual set. So, um, by default he's kind of, in a way, the best Zord, but that can be argued. Um, anyways, let's start taking a look at his colors. He's got some nice red, um, black... He's got a basic gray, and then on the top of his head, he's got like a nice metallic gray. And then his teeth are also that same metallic gray. And it looks pretty darn good, along with the um, blue contrasting eyes and the Power Ranger symbol right there. This is a very nice and well done Zord. Now for articulation, his head can move up and down, as so his mouth can open. Um, his arms do move up a little bit and down a little bit, but that's mostly for transformation purposes. His legs move all the way back, but it does disrupt the connection of the tail. So if you want the tail to be connected, you kind of have to have the legs like that. But you can't really move them past this point, and you can move them back a little bit as long as you swing the tail up. But that is still for transformation, so you won't really want to or need to do that. And then the tip of his tail just moves like that, um, purely for transformation. But anyways, let's just, let's get this guy ready for tank mode. Basically what you want to do, you want to fold his tail up, like so. Fold in his arms. Um, they were like that. Just fold them up. And then bend his legs like this to where his um, feet are kind of the same like angle as his legs. And then you're going to just put him down, and that will be the first part of the tank mode. Let me get it focused here. That will be the first part of the tank mode. So now, we're going to bring in the Triceratops, and we're going to get him prepared. And here we have the Triceratops Zord. Um, easily the most basic Zord um, in the lot. Maybe not the most basic. Um, I don't really know. He kind of takes second in that. But his main colors are, of course, blue. He's got some nice white on his um, crest right here. He's got nice contrasting blue eyes, black for his treads. And then he's got a little bit of yellow circuitry in his model. Let me try and focus here. There we go. Um, he's got some nice yellow in his circuitry there. His tail is a nice um, gray with some really, really nice chrome silver. So, in all, the Zord doesn't look too bad, but, um, yeah. To get him ready for tank mode, just flip these to where you can see the underside of them. Flip his tail up, and that's it. He's ready for tank mode. Um, he does roll. He has wheels. He rolls decently well, but, um, yeah, not, not the best. So, now we're going to take a look at Sabertooth Tiger. And here we have the Sabertooth Tiger. Um, this is probably my favorite Zord. I really, really like the way this looks. I really like the yellows, and I really, just overall, I like the way that the Sabertooth Tiger is portrayed. So let's take a look at him here. We've got some really, really nice yellow. I love the yellow that this Zord was cast in. Um, normally this tail would be down, and it would be plugged in back here, but mine is very close to breaking. It's extremely stiff, and when I push it down... You can hear that click. I'm extremely scared of it breaking, so I don't really um, try to plug it in down there anymore. I just keep it up here when I know it's safe. But um, that's gray. It's got a nice red sticker here to signify that it's one of the legs. Um, you've got some legs over here. Um, nice gray with little wheels. And then a gray again with these big black wheels. 
So, the articulation on this character is his fangs can move like that. That's purely for transformation so they don't get in the way. His legs can move all the way back to this point and then they stop. And they can move all the way up like that. Again, for transformation, but still, it's something. Um, his legs can fold in like that. You don't really get much articulation for the legs. That's just purely for transformation. And then the tail, like I said, can fold back into here, but I don't generally do it. So to get this guy ready for tank mode, let me focus again. To get this guy ready for tank mode, you're just going to push him down and then push his legs in. Push him down one more time while push his legs up. And there you go. Now he'll roll. Now this guy rolls decently well not as well as the triceratops though but he does roll but um there you go he's ready for transformation now we are moving on to the mastodon so here we are now we have the mastodon um this guy by far has the most articulation and most like transformation of any of the zords so we're gonna quick take a look at him um he's mainly made up of black for the black ranger um you got some nice yellow and red detailing in the ears um by the thanks of stickers um you got nice green eyes which those are stickers as well um a black crest with a green m right there to show mastodon you've got some chrome um silver tusks here you've got a basic gray trunk which does look pretty nice i like it um you've got the big orange m right here outlined in like a reddish orange and just basic gray feet. You can see the fists right there. And these little gray feet right here. So really the only articulation he has is like this. Um, that's for transformation purposes. These move up, but that's for transformation purposes. If you try to move it up, as you saw. Um, gotta reattach his head. It will knock off his head if you try to move those up too far. So don't do that. But anyways, we're gonna get him ready for transformation. So you're gonna rip off his head. We're gonna place that to the side. Then what you want to do, just flip this up, keep them like that, and spread it apart. And now, just flip these up, and there you go. So they're facing straight out, like that. You get it focused, real quick. There you go. Um, just have them straight out like that, and you're good. So now, we are going to move on to the final Zord, the Pterodactyl. And here's the pterodactyl. Um, as you can see, it is extremely basic. It's literally just a plate um, with wings and a head. That's really all it is. But the colors on this one are like a nice red chest plate. It's not even pink. So I don't really know why this is the Pink Ranger Zord. Shouldn't it be pink? But um, it's got the red detailing on the head there. Um, looks very nice. Um, you got some basic gray, basic gray wings. Um, this Zord is literally just kind of a hunk of plastic. But to prepare it for tank mode, just do that. Literally all you do is just that. Um, now, we're going to get them into tank mode. Alright guys, so now we are ready for tank mode. So basically, what you want to do, um, there's going to be these connectors on the Tyrannosaurus' um, knees. Just plug those right into the slots on the Triceratops and the saber tooth tiger there you go and then that will stand up like that it'll roll and then you're going to take the mastodon's head and look on the back flip up this little handle type thingy and you're going to plug it in right there um below the tyrannosaurus's head so i'm going to do that real quick it's a it's kind of a tight fit if you need to move the tyrannosaurus's head up but there you go there's the um the Mastodon's head, you're going to take, no, you can't attach him yet. Um, take the Mastodon's body and legs, you're going to come around the back and just snap those right into place if they want to go in place. Sometimes they won't. There you go. And then they just clip on on the sides and the back, flip out the shoulder pads. And there you go. There, those are attached. And now, just come around to the back. Um, no, you don't actually clip, clip the tail. And then, you guys see these little pegs right there? They're kind of hard to see, I apologize. But there are pegs there. Um, just spin them around. 
and you're just gonna kind of clip him in between the mastodon's feet and he will just kind of chill right there and there you go now you have the dino megazord in tank mode it doesn't look the best i'm missing the guns but i still like it it's a pretty quality me or um tank mode i don't think there really any me any other megazord has done this and it's really really cool Anyways, now we're going to transform him into Megazord mode. So basically all you have to do, take off the Mastodon head, set it to the side, pull off the Pterodactyl, set it to the side. Now take the Transaurus's tail, clip it into the back, and now you're just going to raise him up, pull up the um, Sabertooth Tiger like that, flip up his little fangs so they don't get stepped on, and then just flip up the Triceratops, and then lift your Megazord all the way up. There you go, now he's standing up. And then we're gonna flip down his arms. Flip that one to about that position because you want him to be able to hold the shield. And then just flip his hands out like that. And there you go, there's a little hand right there. And then do the same with this one, flip it up. Flip the hand out, flip it back in, and there you go. Now, what you want to do next, we're going to move up a little bit here. Open up this front panel. And you're just going to pull the Tyrannosaurus head down, flip it up, and that will conceal the head. And then flip out his two little horns. There you go. He's looking nice. Move you guys over here a little bit so you can see properly. Move down. And then what you're going to do with the Pterodactyl to get her ready... Flip down her head, and just flip in the two wings. And then she will clip on to these two little um, clips right here. she got two little pegs um, right there. It focuses. If it focuses. Yeah, she's got two little pegs right there, as you can see. So you're just going to clip her right onto there. And then there's a little peg at the bottom down here that it'll just kind of peg into. You'll know when it pegs in because you'll hear a click. And there you go. And then just take the Mastodon, flip out the little handle part again, place it in his hand, and that would be the shield. Normally there would be a sword, but I do not have that part. But anyways, guys, there is the Dino Megazord from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. If you enjoyed this tour review, then please be sure to leave a giant like. And remember to keep on gaming, stay amazing, and I will see you guys next time.